Okay, so before we hop in and start talking about the practicalities of setting up SEO on your Wix website, I want to go on a short rant about this topic of SEO in general. And that is because the SEO market now is flooded with people who will tell you various things about SEO, and some of them might be right and some of them might not. And beyond that, the SEO landscape is something that is constantly changing, so it's impossible to always get right all the time. Uh, and everything that has to do with SEO should always be taken with a slight grain of salt and a big deep breath. That's what I think. Um, and in terms of how I think SEO should be approached, one is remember that SEO is just part of your marketing strategy for your website. So the goal of SEO is to bring people to your website from search engines. And there are a lot of advantages to bringing people in this manner because they have high intent and they're coming and arriving at something that they searched for out of their own free will. Uh, but there are other ways to bring people to your website. There are other marketing strategies, both paid and unpaid. And SEO is not the only way to bring people to your website. So don't set up your SEO and then just wait for people to come. Uh, explore other ways that you can either by word of mouth or social media or uh, via other forms of paid advertising, bring people to your website and your business. The second thing I would like to mention is that while the technical aspects are important and if your website isn't indexed at all, then obviously nobody's going to find it and setting up meta tags and HTML tags and various different things that you can do, backlinks and whatnot, they all do help. But the core of SEO is building a website that people want to find and that helps people. Okay, that is the number one most important thing. So before you start going and running after SEO experts and setting up all these stuff in the back end and the dashboard and everything that I'm about to show you, first make sure that you have a nice design for your website that with a good user experience that people will enjoy visiting that all the text on your website and your content is both valuable to the people who are viewing it and that it's easily intelligible that it's accessible and only after you are fully happy with how your website looks and how it serves your potential customers or visitors only then should you hop in and start thinking about the intricacies of all these other te technical aspects the last thing that I want to mention is that SEO is a long and never ending process in an ever changing landscape. And what I mean by that is that it will take some time for your website to build a reputation and get all of its pages listed and listed high uh, in terms of the ranking. And furthermore, even as you get your pages listed, you continuously need to evaluate the search engine landscape and make sure that you're meeting new criteria that come up as Google and other search engines tend to change their algorithms from time to time. Not only that, but who knows, the whole search engine universe might be changing now with the new AI revolution. So also keep your eye on that and how your content might be ranked within different AI search engines versus just Google and Bing and stuff like that. So it's really about having a broad and long-term plan approach for how you are improving your discoverability of your website, both in terms of SEO, but both in terms, but also in terms of your general marketing plan. Now that I got that all off my chest, we are ready to hop in and start talking about the practical aspects of implementing SEO on your Wix website. And the first thing that I want to address is just the basic things that you can do as you are building the design of your website and setting up your website in the editor. So you can see here that I've added in a text element and an image element. And the first thing that you want to do is that you'll want to make sure that on every single page that you're setting up, you have one kind of large text that is your heading one. Okay, so if you take a look over here, you can see that this is a heading one. And you'll want to make sure that every page has one of those and only one of those. And that's because these heading ones have a specific HTML tag in them, which is the H1 tag. And the way that search engines prefer you have that set up is that there's only one H1 tag per page, and there is an H1 tag for every single page. So that is my first tip with regard to how you set up the elements on your page. 
The second thing has to do with images. And if you go into an image uh, in Wix and you go into the image settings, then you'll see that you have the option down over here to uh, describe what is in the image. Okay, what's in the image over here. And if I say that this is a woman holding flowers, <laughs> I don't know if that's a very good description, but let's say that that's what it is, then this is what will be in what's called the image alt text. And that's something that search engines look for because it's very useful for uh, people who have disabilities and they might not be able to see what's in the image, but certain screen readers can read what's in that alt text. And that's why pages that with images that have that alt text get a certain preference. So I just want to show you what this, uh, what both of these things look like on your live site. So here I am uh, on my live Wix site that I've just published and hopefully will be ranked very high on Google soon. And you can see here we have the, the title that we had before and I added in a little bit of extra text and we have that image. And if I go here and I just right click and I go into our developer tools, uh, you don't need to understand everything that's going on here in this side panel, but I just want to show you kind of the HTML that's behind your website. That is what a search engine actually sees when it's looking at your website. And if I go over here and I inspect, let's say this title right over here, then you can see that it has that H1 tag that I was talking about. Okay, and that's the tag that we want to have one of and not less and not more. Uh, and if I go ahead and I, for example, inspect this other text that I have here, let me click the inspecting tool and I'll inspect that right over there. You can see that this one has an H5 tag. Okay, so that's a tag that's not the H1 and that's because I set it to be heading five and not heading one. Okay, and if I selected a paragraph, then it would have a tag that's P. Okay, so that's with regard to the H1 and how you can do that within the editor. And if we take a peek um, at the image, so I'm just going to select the image right over here, uh, then you'll be able to see, let's go over here and try and find that alt text. So here you can see alt and you can see a woman holding flowers. And that's exactly what I wrote there in the editor in terms of what's in the image. So you could see that that's not just something for the Wix system or something behind the scenes. Like that's something that really gets put into the very data of your page and the search engines can pick up on it and really uh, rank your page higher if the images are given the proper alt text. So that's just some a few things that you can do while you're setting up the design of your page that can give you a boost uh, in SEO. So once you've completed your page design, you're ready to head into the settings of the page. So if you just click right over here in pages and menu, and then within the menu, you go ahead and you look here for SEO basics. And you click that, then you'll have this panel over here where you can set up various things with regard to the, uh, to the page on your site. And one thing that's missing over here right now, because this is the home page of my site, is the URL. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add a new page to my site. Just call it a blank page. And done. Okay, so I've added a new page to my site. And now if I go into the settings over here, and I go here into SEO basics, and I scroll down, then you can see over here that I have this URL slug. And this is something that I see very often uh, in websites of people who might not have a lot of experience uh, building websites or building inside the Wix editor. And that after they create new pages, even if they go ahead and they change the name of the page over here, they don't actually change the URL slug over here. And you'll see either URLs that are like blank something or like copy of something, 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 or something, something, something too. Okay, and those are all URLs that are not ideal for search engine optimization. So you really wanna try and think, okay, what is on this page? What do I want people to easily be able to understand about this page just from the URL and call it that. So if this page is my new page and I want people to understand that, then I could call it, let's say, new page. Okay, if this is the login page, then I'll call it login. If this is my uh, properties page or my real estate page, I can call it real estate. Okay, so I really want the URL of the, the slug of the URL to be something significant that people will be able to understand. 
and not just whatever default Wix puts in there when you create a new page. After you've completed the URL slug, then you can go ahead and make sure that you have correct meta tags for your page. So all the pages in Wix will by default have a certain meta, a certain title tag right over here. Uh, and this is essentially the title that you're going to see inside Google uh, when people search for that page. So it's also important to convey to those people uh, what is going to be in this page. But it's also important for the search engines themselves when they're understanding what's in the page and deciding where to rank you. Uh, except for just the title tag, you also have the meta description. Okay, that's right over here. And this often is the description that will be used in the search results as well, kind of under the title, but not necessarily. The search engine might decide to use something else for the description. But either way, this still gives an indication to the search engine about what is on your page. And there are different recommendations for how many characters. I'm not going to go into it because it's like a little nitty gritty and there's like different opinions and I don't want to pick sides or anything like that. I think Wix probably limits this to like, okay, here, they give a recommendation of 155 to 165. I don't know. I've seen 300. I've seen 500. I've seen... <laughs> anyway, you can go and ask, search Google and see if they have maybe uh, an official Google uh, recommended amount or Bing or whatnot. Uh, but basically, you want to have a not too long, but very informative description of what this page offers to the viewer. Uh, last but not least, uh, you're going to want to definitely make sure that this is turned on in terms of let search engines index this page. If it is not turned on, then search engines will not index the page, and this will never be found um, by search engines. Uh, you have other things here related to SEO as well, such as this advanced SEO page, which we'll talk about in another video, and social share, uh, which is not too hard to set up. It's an image that you can uh, place here that will be seen by people when they share it on social media. So for example, when somebody sends you like, uh, when you kind of put a link to a website inside Facebook, let's say, and you see an image that automatically pops up. So that's this image right over here. Uh, and that same goes for this title and this description. And it's definitely useful for social media. How much search engines look for this? I'm not sure, uh, but it can't hurt to set up uh, because as I said, remember, SEO is not the only way you're going to be marketing your website and you want to look good when people share the links to your website on social media. Uh, so I do recommend setting that up whether or not it is actually useful for SEO. So after you have built your website, you've designed all your pages and you set up the individual page SEO for all of them then you're going to want to head over to your dashboard and go to the SEO section, which you can find here under marketing and SEO and SEO. And here we have a few things, the most important of which is to actually connect your website to Google. Uh, but before you do that, you're going to be prompted by Wix to go through the SEO setup checklist. So let me go ahead and click on that so you can see what this check looks list like. checklist looks like. A bit of a tongue twister there. Uh, so here we are in the setup checklist, and I'm just going to go ahead and click get started. So it's going to ask me for my business or brand name. So this is going to be SEO awesomeness. I hope that's how you spell it. Uh, click next. And here they're going to ask you if you serve kind of a local area or if you serve nationwide or whatnot. So I'm going to do nationwide and some keywords. So SEO, awesome, and website, let's say. Okay. And next, now they're going to give you the SEO checklist. And you can see here that we have some indications as to what is kind of missing from our website in order to get listed on Google. So for example, here we have add homepage descriptions for search result. And if you go over here and you click this go for it button, then it should open up an option to add that description. And this description here is essentially the very same thing that I was showing you earlier here inside of the editor. Uh, so if I go here to home and SEO basics, and we go here to the meta description. So this right over here is something that you can also change from this kind of checklist. Okay, so there's different places uh, in Google that you can make these changes. 
Um, I often like to do it on the page itself because, you know, after I set up a page, I have a good idea of what that page is about and what I want the description to be. Uh, but if you're more of like do it at bulk kind of person, then you also have options uh, to do that from within the dashboard as well. So uh, as you're working through this kind of checklist, you'll notice that Wix is a bit opinionated about what is good SEO and what's not good SEO. And they have these little tips and tricks, for example, uh, to add the business or site name to the text of a certain page. And if you want, you can just kind of skip this or run through it and then change it later. Uh, the main point of going through this checklist is to, first of all, you're going to be required to add a custom domain. So you can only list your website on Google uh, through Wix if you have your own custom domain and a premium uh, plan with Wix. Okay, so you won't be able to list a free Wix website on Google, and that's one of the main impetuses for people to actually uh, upgrade so that they can go ahead and list their um, website on search engines. And last but not least, you'll be prompted over here to connect the site to the Google Search Console. And thanks to a partnership that Google, uh, that Wix has with Google, <laughs> more than Google with Wix, uh, they have a speedy kind of connector here uh, that you don't have to go into the Search Console and set everything up yourself. And it also goes ahead and gives you a very cool dashboard that you can use in order to monitor your SEO and stuff like that from with inside the Wix dashboard without having to go into the Google uh, Search Console. Okay, so after you're done going through the checklist and you're listed on Google and everything is working, I recommend heading back to the SEO Center and taking a look here at the bottom because there's another few useful tools here that you can use or possibly even need later on in your SEO journey. And I'm not going to touch on all of them right now, but one important one here is the SEO settings. So if you go into this SEO settings over here, it will take you to this page. And this is a page which will allow you to edit all of your pages in bulk in terms of SEO. So if I click over here in edit pages, uh, then you can go over here and set up some basic things for all the pages. And you can go over here and edit by page and kind of edit each page from like a bird's eye view instead of going into the editor and going into every single page. And you can see here that I have access to all the stuff that I had uh, before inside of the editor itself. Uh, so that's one thing I recommend checking out. Uh, the other thing is the site verification. And that takes into account the fact that Google is not the only search engine. So just because uh, Wix has an easy uh, setup with Google due to their partnership, it doesn't mean that you should ignore other search engines. Uh, so you can go to this uh, site verification page. And what that will do is will let, allow you to set up verification with other search engines as well and make sure that you're listed uh, on other things such as Bing, which is a popular search engine and might be getting more popular now due to different AI capabilities and whatnot, uh, and a few other uh, local and popular uh, search engines around the world. Um, so I do recommend checking this out and setting up the verification for various search engines that are relevant to you. Uh, and last but not least, uh, you might in some at some point want to take a look at the sitemaps of your website. And the sitemaps are essentially like a guide to the search engine for which pages your website contains. And sometimes it happens that you need to manually provide the sitemap to a search engine. Usually, at least in the Google's case, uh, Wix, uh, Wix will do it for you and they'll update it from time to time. But you might need to kind of manually push in a new sitemap at some point if you're running into some issues with your SEO. And in order to get that sitemap and take a look at it and make sure that everything looks okay and it's updated, uh, then you can go over here to sitemaps. And once you open that up and you open your sitemap, this is kind of what it looks like. Uh, and it's written in something called XML. And this is really just a page on your website. So if you take a look over here, this is a URL of my site. And you can see that slash sitemap.xml. It's like essentially like a page on my website. Uh, and you can navigate to it from any browser. Um, you know, it's on the internet. It's not something private. Uh, and if you want, you can see here also some individual um, sitemaps that are within this sitemap index. So um, Google and, and search engines know to look for this sitemap.xml, uh, but you can also point them to individual sitemaps or Wix will know how to point them to individual sitemaps. 
Uh, so for example, if I copy this URL and I go ahead and I navigate to it, then we'll see another sitemap here with individual pages. So here you can see my home page, and here you can see the new page that I created. And if you're ever having issues with your pages being indexed, you can always like double check and make sure that all your pages are included in the sitemap and you don't need to go ahead and update it manually. And if you run into issues, you can usually work, uh, reach out to Wix support and they can help you out uh, with that as well. Okay, so with that, we're gonna wrap up this basic tutorial about SEO on Wix. And even though this is really just the basics and there are more things that you can do in order to set up and improve the SEO on your Wix website, I think that if you followed the steps that I mentioned here in this tutorial, you're already off to a really great start and your website should be ranked and people should be able to find your awesome content and accessible website, assuming that you've set it up that way in terms of the design. And if you want to learn more about more advanced SEO uh, topics as well as general uh, Wix knowledge and Velo knowledge, etc., then I do recommend uh, subscribing to the channel, and I will see you next time.